Wendy doesn't know anything about what I do. I never told her about anything that I do, not once. Ozark is one of the most successful and popular Netflix originals at the moment. The show is somewhat similar to Breaking Bad, and it is equally an American crime drama. Ozark is an Emmy Award-winning series, and it is about the Bird family. Marty Bird, who is a financial advisor, and his wife Wendy Bird, a political campaigner, leave Chicago for Ozark after Marty somehow got involved in a failed money laundering scheme that made him a puppet to a Mexican drug cartel and a prey to the FBI. The show had a good cast selection, and over the seasons, every character has been able to blend in their roles and develop appropriately. But you may see the characters on screen and wonder what happens in their real lives. Well, today, we're going to take you through the lifestyle of Ozark actors that we didn't expect. There are many excellent actors in Ozark, but this would not be a topic if we did not make mention of these actors. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice, so be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter this giveaway. It's really that simple. We cannot start this without the main actor, Marty Bird. Jason Bateman plays the role of Marty Bird, and he was the smartest character in the show. He was arguably the brains behind every action, and he could talk himself out of any situation and sort of talk himself into one. I mean, how did he get into trouble in the first place? Marty was also really calm and reserved. Even at awkward moments, he never overreacted. The way he handled difficult situations also made his character funny. Jason Bateman, on the other hand, came into the limelight in the 1980s during his teenage years from his breakout show, The Hogan Family. He had it pretty rough in his 20s due to his money and fame, Bateman went unchecked in his 20s, and according to him, he lived his life like his parents went out of town, gave him a bunch of cash and the car keys, and didn't say when they will be back. He lost his virginity at 15, became an alcoholic at 16, and added drug abuse to his recklessness. In his defense, fries and ketchup go together, so why do drugs without booze? He got married in 2001 to Amanda Anka, but their relationship suffered some ups and downs due to his addiction, and she gave him an ultimatum to either quit drinking or quit the marriage. After some time apart from Amanda, he decided to drop his 20s lifestyle, move into adulthood, and secure his marriage. Although his abuse affected his career, he has managed to get back on his feet, and he has starred in some pretty good movies and shows like Arrested Development, Horrible Bosses, Game Night, and The Change Up. Thankfully, he has managed to improve on himself, his career, and his personal life. Since his big change, things have been going pretty well for him. Our next actor is Laura Linney, who plays Wendy Bird. In the beginning, Wendy Wendy is portrayed as a supportive wife who truly just wants to survive, but how good is a character if he or she does not evolve? Wendy had a shaky marriage with Marty, but she did not have a choice to leave. Plus, she decided to stay for the kids. As the saying goes, behind every successful man is a strong woman. Wendy was a support system to Marty, and she helped him with lucrative ideas to launder money. With time, she became a principal partner in the business. We saw Wendy go from a slightly calm wife to a ruthless stone-cold killer. That was a pretty big change, we must add. Wendy Bird may be a badass savage, but Laura Linney is an amazing and humble woman. She is an A-list award-winning actress and a singer in her free time. She was born and raised in Manhattan, and she had some big dreams she never backed out on. Laura started by taking smaller roles in the 90s, but her breakout moment was when she acted as Jim Carrey's wife in the movie called The Truman Show. The movie opened wider doors for her, and she got a lead role in the You Can Count On Me in 2000 that fetched her several awards. Laura has starred in other good movies and shows like Love Actually, The Savages, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows, and many more. Laura lives a quiet lifestyle. In fact, she is on a list of Hollywood famous actresses who are introverts. In an interview, she said, I'm a bit of an introvert, so I'm not all that comfortable in those red carpet situations. She may be an actress, but Laura is camera shy. She told Larry King she would rather be up on a theater stage facing an audience than face a camera. Her role as Wendy is quite different from the way she lives her real life. So yes, the tough, ruthless, and power-hungry Wendy is a loving, humble, and friendly Laura. Next is none other than the show's rebel Ruth Langmore, portrayed by Julia Garner. Ruth is one character who initially came off as annoying, but as the show progressed, she proved herself useful. Her ambitions, her sharp mouth, and her rigid attitude towards men who mistake her curls and her delicate features for weakness have all made her become an essential part 
partner to Marty. Ruth was also a strong character. She had to fend for herself and her cousins, so every action she took was towards getting herself a better life. We really cannot blame her for wanting a good life. The point is, when you see Ruth, you see an enthusiastic and confident teenager, but you are not here to see Ruth. So let's get started on Julia Garner. Julia's role in Ozark boosted her fame and career, and she has won two Emmy Awards for her performance on the show. You could mistake her for someone who walked right out of a classic movie, maybe Marilyn Monroe. And guess what? She is a big fan of classics. She watched many classic movies growing up. She even saw movies she was not allowed to watch at her young age. At the age of nine, she watched movies like Whatever Happened to Baby Jane and Rosemary's Baby. Julia's formative years put her on track to becoming an actress. And her mother, Tamer Jingle, was also an actress. She had confidence issues because she was not literate. Almost everything she said made her feel dumb, and for some reason, this was what pushed her into acting. She took her first acting class when she was 14. Julia started acting when she was in high school, and she said her peers did not believe that she was an actress. They called her a pathological liar. Unlike her millennial peers who are freaked out about technology, she is a little old school, and she is not crazy about social media. She jokes around and says, I was probably born in the 1800s or something. Julia has an Instagram page with thousands of followers, but according to her, she would rather not let the world know what she has for lunch. So most of her posts are photo shoots of her looking like she was on a set of a 70s film. Julia's lifestyle is what you would call low key. She lives her life like the old Hollywood movie stars, the classics. The next actor on her list is Helen Pierce, played by Janet McTeer. She is one of the main characters in Ozark, and she plays a Chicago-based attorney who represents Navarro's drug cartel. After Dell disappeared, Navarro sent Helen to Ozark to monitor the bird's money laundering operation. In her first meeting with Marty, she made it clear to him that she was not a regular lawyer, and if he did not act right, violence would be inflicted on him and his family. In her words, they will kill your children. They will gut your wife. Do you want me to tell you what they will do to you? She was a pain in the neck to Marty and Wendy while they were carrying out their work for Navarro. Helen was portrayed as ruthless and tough, but let's take a turn into the life of Janet McTeer. McTeer is an award-winning OB E. English actress who has received accolades for her performance in projects like Tumbleweeds and Albert Knobs. She described her formative years as a fun stage for her. She mostly did what she loved while she was riding her bike and reading books. She loved to read. She is also a good tennis player and swimmer. In all her years of acting, she has had one foot on the screen and the other on stage, but most of her works are stage played. She began her acting in theater and acted in plays by William Shakespeare and Anton Chekhov. She started meeting actors when she was working at a coffee shop at 16, and one time she met with Gary Oldman, and he advised her to go to acting school. School. Since then, she took an interest in acting. She transitioned into mainstream acting, and she has appeared in some recent shows and movies like Marvel's Jessica Jones and Ozark. McTeer stands at six foot one. Although she loves her height, she has admitted that it did give her some issues in her profession. McTeer said as a young actress, she could not audition for roles because she did not fit into them. So she lost a few roles due to her height, but she also got some roles because of her height. So it was not much of a terrible feature for her. Now that she has been able to build her reputation, her height is not a worry anymore because people only get intimidated by it. McTeer is 55 and is hardly ever away from her house, her garden, and her family. Over the years, she has managed to maintain a low profile, but her awards and nominations keep her profile just high enough. That is a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it.